Ursuline Sisters of Youngstown welcomed six new associates for the Feast of St. Angela Marici in 2013. General Superior Sister Nancy Dawson offered this reflection. St. Angela has for us this night are these. I am always in your midst. And really, this is a night that Ursuline Sisters and all of our mental associates really treasure. Not only because it fulfills your promise, I will always be in your midst, but because on this night we are sure that the charism of St. Angela Marici and her gifts will continue through each of these associates, these five new associates who are formally mentioned tonight. What a promise. It seems the readings tonight, especially the latter two, were chosen by Mother Angela for this very, very important occasion. The first one, I the gifts of the Spirit, which we have all received. Wow, tonight we received five new gifts. Dan, a gift to the Jerusalem Cafe in the Casa de Madrid, which we've had for over 20 some years. Amy's missionary experience in El Salvador, in Brownsville. Kathleen, bringing her educational background in her parish ministry. Linda, our scholar, doing research on St. Angela and being on the faculty where she uses this each day at Ursula. Terry, the parish leader at St. Joe's, who worked at the Attitude House at one time and actually was my mentor at St. Paul's in New Middletown when I was learning how to be a director of religious ed and pastoral ministry. Many, many gifts here tonight. But both readings challenge us in the spirit of St. Angela to continue to develop two special gifts that should belong and do belong to many of us. Two gifts of the spirit that I think we need to look at for a moment tonight. Let me say a word or two about each. Once upon a time, there was a great teacher who had many, many disciples, and they came from all over to listen, to learn, to be wise, to be liberated from their desires and their fears and their needs. And then they were sent out to the rest of the world after the master trained them. And just before they left, the master would give them all a gift. And the gift was a mantra that you keep repeating. It 
which another very, very important gift for the Muslims and the uh, associates today. And that is the gift of justice. I know you've read the uh, body story of Christ for living with Christ. Uh, has a whole section on justice. He says there's a big difference. You know, we all live here, right? When we feel good. One spiritual director told me, we're always good at here when we feel good. But when we don't feel so good, it's hard to do, and we should keep doing it. But there's a difference, he says, between charity and justice. Sometimes charity is very easy to do. We visit the sick in our countries. We write to prisoners. We sit with the homebound. We work at food banks. We work at day. However, justice asks us to look deeply at the causes. Why are these people hungry? Why are they poor? Why is there unemployment? Why is there pollution? Why is there illness that's not being cured with the millions of dollars in the search? Justice invites us to think out of the box and to create new structures and systems to address the causes. Angela did this in her own time. They were troubled times. She thought out of the box. She created new structures, new ways for women to live in the world, to live religious life in the world that would serve the real needs or the underlying needs of the poor. And Mary Jo Wheaton says it never occurred to Angela that she would not be able to do what needed to be done. Never occurred to her. If we here, Sons and Associates, want to do justice, and many of us already are, I sent out a lot of petitions, and I know you do with the computer. But Father Newton's word says there are three things that we need to do. One, pray that we can see them. And so often we're so self-centered that we don't even see them. We don't want all the other people in the world. So we have to pray that we will see those injustices. Then we have to educate ourselves on the underlying issues, to read, to keep updated, to look at the news, to get rid of the uh, trash on the TV, and to educate ourselves on those issues. And finally, the third thing is to act, to write the legislators, to demonstrate for peace, as Helen Murray does, and Dan does, and Peggy does. Uh, to get out of our comfort level and to get out of the streets and to donate to those who are doing justice in specialized areas and use our computers, as I said, to respond to a variety of social issues in order to affect change for the common good. If we do justice, we are promised, and this is a famous saying in the scripture that the person is really like, if we engage in justice, we are promised in Scripture that all of us who instruct and do justice will shine the stars for a whole eternity. Let the earth's and sisters and associates light up the skies, not in eternity, but let's light up the skies in the present as we brilliantly shine with other stars of the past, illuminating compassionate hearts it's a spirit of justice and action for the common good. Let that be our prayer at Mass tonight. God bless you. Wonderful occasion. Wonderful morning. Wonderful continuation of Angela's care. Visit us online at theursalins.org, theursalinscenter.org, and on social media.
Visit us online at theursalins.org, theursalinscenter.org, and on social media.